I was sick of wearing the same pair of clothes every day. I was sick of having no money. I was sick of it. All I needed was an opportunity. Let's go. You want to freaking build a great family? You want to give your family the lifestyle they want? You want to get rich? You want to help people? This is the way you're going to have to be. You're going to have to get pissed off about it or nothing's going to change. Now, this manager hired me at 18 years ago. This is the conversation he had with me. I'll make it very simple. See this chair? This is a $100,000 a year chair. Okay, so what did he tell me I could earn? 100K, really it was 120. He said top 1% earners in the automotive space in 1999 earned 120 grand. So you know what? And you're a GM, you know, you got, you got who, who sells cars in here? Raise your hand. Okay, 120 grand. That was the dough. That was all the dough too, top 1%. You know what I did from 18 to 19 years old? I did what he said. I said, I did everything he said. How many of you in here right now, you don't have the life you want. He's telling you what to do. I'm telling you what to do. You still won't freaking do it. You still want, you don't want a better life. You don't want a better life. I wanted a better life. I was sick of wearing the same pair of clothes every day. I was sick of having no money. I was sick of it. All I needed was an opportunity. And if you have one in this room, if you have an opportunity and you can allocate, you can get that prey drive he's talking about. I call it hunger. He calls it prey drive, but I'm hungry. I want to win. Guess what? This chair, top 1%, you can get it this year. You know why? Because I did it. So I made 120 grand from 18 to 19. 19 years old, we had a new manager come in. Don't you like somebody to breathe new life on, on you sometimes? Well, that's what this room is. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Okay, if you treated something like the beginning, there would never be an end to it. Am I right? People are going, are their marriages, right? They're going to marriage counseling, right? You ever know anybody's went to marriage counseling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you know what I say? Yeah. I say this, I say, hey, I can save you all your money. Yeah. If you treated each other like it was the beginning, there would never be an end. Go treat each other like it was day one and you just met and they would never have a problem. Remember when you first got in sales? Hey boss, I'm really, you know, my last job, I can't, I don't, can't, can't make enough money, can't do good. And he's like, oh, you can make all this money. You can make this. And you're like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. You know what happens? You freaking become like everybody else. You conform and you get civilized and you lose that prey drive that Bird's talking about and you freaking settle. And you settle and you become the other 99%. Guys, I'm so loving. I play with my heart with everything, but I'm telling you, dude, no one else wants to see you win. Once you get that through your head, you'll stop caring what other people think and you'll go get yours and you'll go help people and you'll work your way right up the board to the top 1%. Well, at 19 years old, I had a manager walk in, breathe some new life. You know what he said? He goes, hey man, nice meeting you. You're the top guy in the store. I'm 19 years old. You know what I mean? I needed a new challenge. You know what he said? He goes, dude, I made 220 grand in Georgia selling cars. I go, that's impossible. Because my manager told me it was 120. He's like, no, I got to pay stuff in the club box. I, what it was, let me see it. Remember that deal, Wolf on Wall Street? Remember the guy goes, I'll quit my job right now if you show me your pay stuff, right? I was like, I was like, let me see it, right? Because I, you know, you're always getting lied to, right? And by the way, I want to explain the way sales was when I grew up. There was a thing called a YTD a year to date. So we only listened to the people that were killing it. When a guy walked in, he was like, well, let me tell you what I do. I was like, wait, what's your year to date? And he was like, well, I mean, I understand. I was like, okay, what's your year to date? So we'd go around because we wanted to learn from the people that were doing it, right? So everything out of our mouth was, what's your YTD? What's your YTD? What's your YTD? What's your YTD? So I wanted to know. This guy showed me his, his pay stubs, 220 grand, 225 grand. That's all I need to see. It was done. I had this imagination, this visionary mindset. If I could freaking see it, I could go get it. Something clicked in me. It's what he talked about, prey drive. When I saw that 220, I was like, boom, that's it. I'm Alcatraz, baby. No one's escaping. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.